match play at the TUC. Um, I came in leading, unfortunately that didn't last very long, but I'll tell you the experience of match play and why it is so difficult and so different from qualifying. In match play you bowl everyone that made the cut once, you get 30 pins if you win the game, so it's really important to win the, the matches. Uh, basically you can get a 720 pins for free if you win every match. That's a lot, that's a lot of uh, doubles if you have to make that up without winning matches. So. And that's the hard part. That the hard part is that everyone that you're bowling in that field has won before. So everyone's a champion. So they know how to win and they're really good bowlers. So you're not gonna get uh, any games for free. That being said, uh, I didn't bowl that great. But the hard part about match play that most people don't really understand is that in qualifying you have all players, you have players bowling badly of playing as ball well and they're all they might start out doing a little bit different things but they all kind of come together and do the same thing and the lanes break down in a certain way uh, and they break down faster than in match play. In match play people come in and they have different strategies so someone might be like all right I feel like my best chance is if I can play the gutter so I'm gonna play the gutter. My best chance is from your thing even though it didn't throw your thing in all of qualifying and so on and so on. So the lanes break down very differently and the way they do it, they have part of the field start in one part of the bowling center, all there for a few games, ball each other. One part of the field starts in the middle, one part starts in the high end. So each part of the bowling center ends up playing completely different. Uh, for instance, I started on the low end had to move left quicker than in qualifying, then went to the uh, to the high end. Apparently everyone had been throwing urethane up there, so the move was a stronger ball and I think like 12 or 13 boards right. Uh, Belmo was playing right of me up there, uh, just to give you an indication of how tight they were playing. So that makes it real difficult going pair to pair. And then the other part is that you bowling this, it's a different rhythm than, than qualifying. And also you're very much bowling the other guy's score. Because theoretically you should go out and just try to bowl the highest game that you can. That makes sense and then whatever happens, happens. But because of how important it is to win matches, like going out and bowling your best game, it's very hard to make up 30 pins if you try to bowl your best game and you still lose to the opponent. So you actually end up bowling the opponent, which makes it a lot more tense. Uh, when you're struggling, you're, you start thinking about the opponent's score and oh, I got a strike now to keep up. So you get all, all these things going on where you get nervous, you get tense. Now you get, oh, he opened, I have a chance to actually win a match and get something going, so now you put a lot of pressure on the next shot and leads to bad shots once in a while and it all kind of spirals out, out of control from there sometimes. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a very different uh, mindset, a very different breakdown of lanes and then uh, a very different experience to go through. And that's why you see a lot of people, if they start bowling well in match play, they can really get it going because they're kind of like, they get this confidence that oh, I'm going to win every game, I know what I'm doing, if I have to step up in the 10th frame, I'm going to throw the good shot and strike for the win. And the opposite way, where you see guys that are bowling really well, like me and Bill O'Neill, where we start to get into that room where um, our balls are not really doing the same thing they were in qualifying, not quite sure what to do on lanes. We get up and throw a couple bad shots and that 
that confidence and that, um, that feeling of knowing exactly what you're doing and the confidence that all right, I'm just going to go up for a good shot, it's going to strike and I'm going to win. Um, that kind of goes away and now you have to step up, all right, I have to, I have to throw this one good because um, if I strike here, I win, I get something going and then you might throw an okay shot and you don't strike and it's like, oh, come on. Or you throw a bad shot and you lose and now you're just burying yourself. So it's a very hard task mentally and it goes by real, real quickly. So it's not like you can sit down for 10 minutes and take a break and be like, all right, restart, regroup, new match here. It, it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And that's what makes it very difficult and why you a lot of times see people from the bottom of qualifying make it to the show and people that qualify high fall out of the show simply because it's different transitions and a completely different mindset and also the trap you kind of fall into is that you try to do what has been working so well all week in qualifying which makes sense and doesn't work match play where the guys that are lower are like all right so there's really no downside for uh, for them to to try something, take a chance. If it doesn't work, they'll end up where they started. If it works, they might shoot up the, the rankings. So they take a chance, and if it works, they they'll start striking like crazy. And that's also that's the the fun part and the uh, annoying part about match play that. It's a lot more important to bowl well in match play than it is to bowl well in qualifying. So if, if I bowl, I bowl really well in qualifying and not so good in, in uh, match play, if I flip flop those and say I still actually make the cut to match play, but then I bowl my scores from qualifying in match play, I probably win, instead of winning 7 matches, I might win like 16, 18 matches. And all of a sudden, I'm I'm probably gonna be be close to the show. So that's kind of the thing. Like ball really well in qualifying, but to where you actually need to ball really well is in match play. And I didn't do that this time. Um, I think I needed to come in with a little bit better strategy. Um, we had a very short break in between qualifying ended and match play started, and I just didn't call the rookie mistake but it was just a mistake I didn't sit down put together a good strategy get prepared well enough and it showed in my performance the first plug where I just I got lost I didn't know what to do um, and it sucks but that's just the way it is and just kind of spiraled from there and had a hard time getting anything going but the um, biggest issue was I felt like when we started match play, they played a little bit tighter, a little bit cleaner than they had, and I didn't really react to it. I needed to put a little more surface on my balls, and then I think I would have been been a little bit better off. I did that for the second and third block, looked a lot better, and yeah, it is what it is. Um, still a really good week. I led qualifying, which qual qualifying has definitely been a challenge for me with how the transitions are and so bowling that well figuring out ball reaction that well was a big step forward and now I'm looking forward to the World Series so uh, please subscribe I hope you found this interesting a little bit of look into the psyche uh, of <laughs> us pros when we bowl these finals and why it can go so well and so badly at times so subscribe See you at the World Series.
line, a line, a line to me like forever I can't believe that I bought your shit I was too blind to see What you did behind my back So well hidden that I lost my track I try and I try and I try and I try the way